Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you my top 13 products of 2013. I really enjoyed trying a lot of new products this year, and yeah, so I'll just get started so this video isn't too long, and these are in no particular order. I love all of these equally. So yeah, the first one, I have never heard anyone talk about it on YouTube before, which I totally don't understand. This is a really awesome product. It is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream for Dry Skin and the Acne Medicine I was using for my skin really was drying it out a lot. It was just peeling all over the place just like a sunburn and it hurt really really badly and this literally saved my skin. It brought all the moisture back to my skin and that's just kind of what it looks like. It's just a pink gel thing. It actually smells like grapes. Yeah, it kind of smells like grapes. So yeah, if you have dry skin, try out this. It works really well. The next thing also related to dry skin is this Vaseline Total Moisture Lotion. And this is the Cocoa one. Oh my gosh, this helped my hands so much. I get such dry hands in winter and regular lotions or other lotions I've tried just haven't worked. The, uh, <laughs> I messed that up. This product helps so much. My hands don't bleed and crack and get all gross anymore. They feel all smooth even through the winter when it's really cold and no lotions used to really help before. So this is amazing and it smells really good. So yeah, if you need a good lotion, try that one. The next product I have here I talked about in another video. I don't know if it will be up or not by the time this one is up, but it is the little Revlon scented perfume nail polishes. These are new. This one is in the color Apricot Nectar. and. Yes, they really do smell good when they dry. It still smells like regular nail polish when it's still wet. But these are really cool products. So if you want something a little different, try out this nail polish. The next thing I have is a hair product. Also never heard about this before. It is the Lee Strafford Poker Straight Dehumidifier. I've been using this for like two years now, I think. This works so amazingly to keep your hair from getting really frizzy when it's wet outside and puffing up like if you have naturally wavy or curly hair or even just straight hair that gets frizzy. This helps so much. I used this when I was at the beach for a while. I use it just day to day. It's really, really good. And next I have a really talked about product. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Milk Chocolate. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells literally like chocolate. And I've been using this product for a year and a half and I still haven't even hit pan on it. And I use it almost every day. It is such a good buy. It seems kind of expensive, like $30 for a bronzer, but it seriously lasts so long. I think it's really worth it. It's a nice matte bronzer without any shimmer. It's not too harsh if you have fair or lighter skin like me. It just looks really, really good and natural. And so now I have a blush. This is Coralista by Benefit. I really like this one. It's just obviously a coral color and it actually smells good. I don't know if that's kind of weird. Does anyone else's Benefit box powder smell good? Because mine always smell really good and I don't really know why. But yeah, also good, a good product. Nice pigmentation and I literally can't talk right now. So I've also talked about this product in another video. It's the Lorac Stylus Palette. It is very affordable. I think it was only like $15. It has really pretty colors and there's my camera. It has really nice pigmentation and there's 
Oh my gosh, I really have to talk about the fallout on these. There's literally no fallout. I kind of messed that up. Okay, so with this palette, there's literally no fallout with the colors. It is so amazing, so amazingly pigmented. I love this palette so, so much. If you can still buy this, it's the Lorac Stylus palette. I don't know if I said that. Go buy it because it is amazing. Next, I have the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid to Powder Foundation. Also a really good product. It doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation at all. It kind of like evens out your skin tone and kind of covers up redness. It's not a heavy like coverage foundation or anything, but it's a really nice foundation if you just want light coverage or you just want to even out your skin tone. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing foundation and you don't need to use a powder with this. It kind of just sets on its own, which that's really nice. And I have my little Fake Up Concealer by Benefit. This is also a really amazing product. It has the concealer like in the middle there. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. The concealer is in the middle there and it has a little hydrating ring around there which that's really nice. Don't really know what else to say about this. It's just a really nice product and I really like it. And another palette I have here is the Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette. I don't feel like this really gets enough hype. This is also a really amazing palette. A lot of really, really pretty colors. There's nice pigmentation on these. There's some matte ones, some I wouldn't say they're like really glittery, they're just kind of shimmery. It's like a nice shimmery, it's not over the top glittery. I think this is just a really, really nice palette. You can do a lot of things with it. You can do lighter daytime looks, you can do more dramatic nighttime looks. It's just really versatile. And I also really like this little guy, my little pixel party proof eyeliner. I use this almost every day. It's just a little felt tip eyeliner in the color black and I don't really know what else much to say about this. Real cheap from the drugstore. Really recommend it. And then I have my little mini The Real Mascara. I really, really love this. Here's the little wand if you haven't seen it before. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but it's just really lengthening really really black and volumizing and it just makes your eyelashes look like perfection as the name insinuates it looks like you're wearing fake lashes and you don't have to do a whole bunch of coats to make it look like that i can get it to look like that with just one coat which is really awesome and then my last favorite product of 2013 i just realized i've talked about a lot of these products in other videos but that just shows you that i really love these products and basically all the Maybelline Color Whispers. This one is in Berry Ready from the other video that I just filmed. And I have these in a bunch of colors. These are just really creamy. You can build up the color. You can make it more natural by not applying a lot. And yeah, this video is getting really, really long and I'm going to have to edit it. But thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. What is up with me? Oh my gosh, my face is blown up. Where's my eye makeup box? Whoop! Yeah! Thumbnail!